Sometimes an easy task can be very hard to do. Not because it's physically difficult, but because of the commitment it shows or the way that it requires you to extend yourself. This Shabbat, just before Pesach, is called Shabbat Hagadol, the Great Shabbat. According to our tradition, this Shabbat is great because it was on the Shabbat before the Exodus that the Israelites took a lamb, tied it to their bedpost, and waited the days until slaughtering the lamb for the very first Passover meal on the 14th of Nisan. A lamb tied to a bedpost, Shabbat HaGadol, what is so gadol or great about that? I can't imagine it was such a strenuous assignment to take a very tame animal, tie it to a piece of furniture, and wait a few days. To be sure, the name of this Shabbat is connected to other reasons as well. For example, the drasha, the sermon on the Shabbat before Passover, was usually gadol, extremely long, and people would stay from Shabbat morning until the afternoon, learning the laws of Passover in preparation for the holiday. This isn't exactly our custom at the Shar, although people do love to stay in Shmuz at Kiddush at length and on any Shabbat, not just Shabbat HaGadol. Gadol also is a nod to the Haftarah that is read this Shabbat, which refers to Hayom HaGadol, the Hanorah, the great and powerful day of future redemption. But getting back to the lamb tied to the bedpost, what was so Gadol about that? The lamb was one of the Egyptian deities. According to some of our commentators, when the Israelites took this lamb, it provoked the Egyptians to ask them why. The Israelites explained that they would be slaughtering it according to the wishes of the God of Israel. And in response to the offense against their gods, the Egyptians could do nothing. This was the greatness, the miracle of that moment, that the Egyptian oppressors did not stand up to the Israelites after so many years of oppressing them with slave labor. This indeed was a very great stage, a miraculous stage in the process of leaving Egypt. But there's another reason, and I have to thank Yassi for pointing out this idea when we were discussing it in shul. The act of taking this lamb may have seemed simple, but it was in fact a great moment because the previous stages of the Exodus were the plagues, which were all done by God, the miracles, the signs and the wonders, which we will read about in our Haggadah, but this, this was the very first time that the Israelites themselves were being asked to take an active role in their own redemption. This was the gedula, the greatness of this moment. They no longer were passive in their salvation. They were being asked to do a simple task, but it had great implications. They were being asked to make a choice, to show their allegiance and their faith in the one true God of Israel. It required them to take a stand and to leave that lamb tied up for a few days, standing their ground against the Egyptians all around them. So this was their first active step toward their own redemption. Redemption doesn't come if we sit back passively. We can see this in our own lives as the pandemic reality shifts. We are seeing that it can be very hard for people to take active steps to rejoin their social networks, to come back to in-person interactions, to put down their screens and connect with each other in person. It takes an active effort, and perhaps even helping one another to come together in person safely and to reconnect with one another and with our community. It's a similar feeling when we see horrific things on the news, when we feel powerless to help those suffering halfway around the world. But Shabbat HaGadol reminds us that a small action can be Gadol, that small changes can be redemptive, that what we say, what we do, even on a small scale, can bring about our own redemption as well as the redemption of others. Shabbat Shalom.